Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So happy to have you. So today I'm going to be redoing this little armoire situation here. I'm going to be repainting that. Um, my closet is not super, super glam. My husband and I are both flight attendants and I also do some analytical research work for my company. And so we just keep it simple. He doesn't like a whole lot of fuss. He calls himself a simple guy, but I did go with the black and white theme because this closet was already white when we moved in and you'll see like I need to clean up little spots on the wall. This is just how it was when we moved in, obviously. Um, but eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these shelves i'm probably going to do this the actual shelf black and refresh the rest of the closet supplies i ran over to lowe's this morning i went over to lowe's and i went to my shed and get my handy dandy screwdriver i do have a drill but i don't know where it is i think my husband is using it right now um i have a plastic drop cloth some paint brushes oh what's that on my finger yeah, weird some paint brushes and then i am going to do chalkboard paint you guys see that i'm gonna do it in black chalkboard paint so i think that's gonna be kind of cute i'm not gonna write or anything on it with chalkboard with chalk but i like the way chalkboard paint finishes and then i get sandy glosser um sander glosser i got this idea from um i think her channel is decorating with rachel metz um she has like 100 trillion million followers and she's super super dope and she does a lot of diy stuff and she uses um, liquid sandpaper so i got that that was about seven bucks this was 10 these were one or two bucks a piece this was two dollars a piece and of course that was free 99 because that came from my house and then i got this little paint dipping tray that i'll be putting the paint in as i dip it so i'm gonna do it right here in the bathroom my handy dandy bathroom i'm gonna put down the drop cloth put the armoire here because I, it's it's heavy and i don't want to pick it up and take it outside and all this so i'm just gonna do it right here so Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started. So here, guys, you're going to see me moving this super heavy chest. I had to really bend my knees to make sure I didn't hurt my back. I really wanted to get it into position over that tarp so that I didn't mess up my floors. Now I'm going ahead and removing all of the knobs from the chest. Uh, I painted these knobs about a week or so ago. I had some random silver paint in my garage and they actually came out a more of a gray tone than silver, but I love them. I think they're gonna match really, really great with what I think I'm gonna do with the towels, but I'm going ahead and I'm taking those off just so I don't have to paint around them. So now you'll see me preparing to use the liquid sandpaper is what I like to call it. Um, it's Sander Deglosser, but uh, yeah, I am preparing my towel. This is just an old napkin, like a dinner napkin that I have in a drawer that I have just full of like ratty towels. And I wanted to use a white one to make sure I wasn't transferring any type of ink or dye onto the chest. So I've got it nice and saturated because I wanted to make sure I got enough all over the chest and I am just rubbing it over every single surface that I plan to paint. About halfway through using the deglosser, I realized that I didn't have any gloves on. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm like, well, my hands aren't burning or falling off or anything yet, but it probably was a good idea to wear gloves. And also on the back of the label, it tells you to also wear like goggles, um, and neither of which I had, but I did end up putting the gloves on eventually. Um, just because I wanted to protect my hands. I grew up in a hair salon and I remember my mom having her hands and fingers all burned from like chemicals and stuff like that. So, you know, that just ran through my mind. I was like, you know what? I don't want to burn these fingers up. I need all of my fingertips and prints and all that good stuff. So I went ahead and threw those gloves on and finished the glossing. And I'm going to go ahead and um, move on to the next step. I don't want to bore you guys. So we're going to speed it up and get on to the next step so you can start your project. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly that it did take some of the gloss off. Hi, there's Maxwell. Max came to say hi, but it did take some of that luster off. I'm sure I could have gotten it a lot more dull, but I figured this was good enough and it should take a nice um, coat with no problem. So you 
you guys will see here the painting has begun i wanted to show you the consistency of the chalkboard paint um and just show you that yeah i've started so this is my first coat i'll be adding a, a second coat and we shall see how it turns out so i hope this is relaxing for you guys i hope you enjoy i will be linking all of the items uh, down in the bottom i purchased everything from lowe's um, and i'll link all that down in the bottom for you guys so if you're interested in doing your own diy you know where to go to pick up those items So here you'll see that I decided to go ahead and take the screws out. I took the knobs off, but I didn't take the screw out that holds it. So I went ahead and just pushed those out and uh, stored them inside of the chest so I didn't have to paint over them. And we are back to painting. So I'm just going ahead. I'm going to continue to add that first coat. You'll also see me take my wet towel. It's wet with that sander deglosser. You'll see me take that towel and wipe around the edges um, just to get any paint off. It's so much easier to do it this way. Um, I'll show you a mistake that I made later in the video. I accidentally let a few areas dry and I, I came up with different solutions on how to, to get that off. But I'm going to go ahead and conclude now that it's so much easier to remove any mistakes and mishaps when the paint is wet. Just take that wet towel that you have, wipe it off, and you have a clean finish line. As always my boys had to come and check on mommy I don't have any kids of my own just yet I do have a stepson he's 12 he'll be 13 this year and I'm hopeful to have some in the future but for now these are my babies and they just came to say hi you'll see in the next clip that I'm just gonna clean up some of that trim with my damp rag and the first coat is on we're gonna go ahead and let it dry and since Cree came to visit me we're gonna go ahead and hang out take a peek out the window the neighbor's dog seems to be barking and Cree was pretty curious so hey I decided to see what all the action was about so the first coat is dry that took about 10 minutes or so um, there are a few wet spots as you can see in the video but I think it's dry enough to go ahead and add that second um, layer so we're going to go ahead and add that second layer now and let's see how it goes All right, the second coat is on and it has begun to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and start to clean up some of those edges. You'll see that I'm gonna use a Q-tip. Well, first I tried to use like my fingernail and my fingernails are so brittle, just naturally they are, um, that yeah, it came up, but it would have taken me a month of Sundays, right, to get it all up. So I ended up switching out to a Q-tip and using the sand you know the liquid sandpaper deglosser to remove it uh, i dabbed the q-tip in um the liquid and then i let i put it on the the spot and i let it sit just for like a few seconds and it completely softened up the paint so 
that's the easiest way well the easiest way is to wipe it when it's wet but if you forget and you have some spots that have dried up go ahead and grab a q-tip dab it in the uh, liquid and then rub it on the paint spot let it sit for a few seconds and it'll wipe right off so you'll see here that I decided to go ahead and do the shelves. I decided to go ahead and paint the shelves black. I'm going to paint the entire closet a white, like do a refresh in white eventually. But I figured since I had this black paint out, I would just go ahead and paint the shelves. Um, so I went ahead and tackled that even though I was exhausted. done so what i did was i did two coats of the chalkboard paint and you can see there's like some of the brown the original brown showing through i did that on purpose because i knew you would be able to see some of the brown uh, from the tops of the drawers because remember guys there was no way for me to get these drawers out they don't come out this is a really old chest and they don't have any hinges or anything so it would have been a nightmare for me to paint this paint that paint all that so i said you know what since a little bit of this is going to show i'll do it antique -y. so i didn't do it with a roller i did it with a brush so i can get that wood antique brush effect um these knobs i spray painted these about a week ago i'm just testing them i had some extra silver spray paint around the house and i took them out and i love how they came out they came out more gray than silver which is awesome um because you'll see i did end up buying some gray towels and so that actually ties it in so here we are i uh, finished out the frame right i want to do the mirror the, the back of it is done as well the entire outside of this is completely done i left all the brown on the inside intact so you'll see the finish on it i love how it dried really matte and flat that's my zhuzh that's what i like so you can see i want to get nice up and close for you see how it has a little like i did it like streaky antique style and this is two coats you could have done a third coat and gotten it nice and smooth and done it with a roller the entire project with a roller got it nice and smooth and completely black but that's again that's not the look that i was going for i wanted it to look a little bit antique -y. so i found this at um where did i get this from i think i got this from oh home goods i got this guy from home goods and it smells delicious oh it's it's dw home i see a lot of um youtubers use their um candles dw home and it's peony rose it smells amazing and then i got this guy from dollar tree of all places it's a little eiffel tower and i got this from dollar tree as well it's a little geometric vase or vase and i had these random little artificial flowers in my craft closet and of course my husband and i and i've had that frame forever i have no idea where i even got that from so yeah there it is guys i ended up picking up this black rug which is from walmart it was 15.88 i thought that would be super cute to tie that in instead of it just looking like one big back black blob back there so i got the black rug to tie all that in and i took all of those old ratty towels out and replaced them with gray towels each of these towels were three dollars and 96 cents at walmart um, these gray bins were $3.96 each at Walmart. And then this guy was a dollar from Dollar Tree. I already had this. Um, I might go back and get one more gray bin just with so matches, just so it's all cohesive. But I, I only got three. So I said, oh, let's see how it looks. It doesn't look bad, but I'm real type a <laughs> uh, so you know i might go and get another one just to make it all cohesive i did end up painting the shelves black um i figured you guys will want to see that i did not do a great job and that was on purpose too Oop, i missed a little spot here that was on purpose too because what's going to happen is after i painted this and let it dry i decided that i do want to paint the bottoms so I'm going to come back in and paint the bottoms of all of these shelves so they're black as well. And then the entire closet is going to get a white refresh. The trim, I actually might pop this off and get new trim because sometimes that's cheaper and easier. The trim, everything's going to get a white refresh and I'm going to uh, go over the shelves one more time on top. And I'm also going to paint the bottoms black. But I love how everything came out. I have one black bin down there with some hair products in it that I use uh, very infrequently. 
So great towels, great baskets. And of course, guys, this was all born out of these black bins from Five Below. I was looking for storage solutions for my husband and I that were really, really, really inexpensive. And they come two in a pack for $5. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed everything, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.